What's up guys, on this episode of Inspiration Nation, we'll be fabricating our transmission cross member. For that, we got a special help in the garage today. My daughter Zoe. So the first thing we're gonna start with is making the perches that sit on top of the crater. What we're gonna do is we've got a set of two and a half by two and a half angle iron, and I'm gonna cut and make two perches. Now we're using the factory cross member for reference points and measurements and such. And then what we'll do is we'll make the center piece that bolts to the bottom of the transmission mount, and then we'll simply connect it in with some of this inch and a half square stock. So the first step in this process is we're gonna be cutting out the perches. Now, we're gonna be cutting them at three and three quarter inches, two of them, and then later on we'll be drilling two holes in each one, which are two and three quarter inches apart. So, first thing you need to do before you cut on all these awesome machines, safety, safety. So what we did, now that we've got our purchase cut out, took the factory cross member, made sure we get the right lined up, and we marked it through the holes there with the pencil. So we're ensured that our holes will be drilled in the right place. Now, I like to keep little scraps of wood around my drill press. It helps for stacking and clamping down and drilling all the way through something. Just a little tip. Put your safety on. You gotta make sure this hair is pulled back garage style. Zip ties fix everything. Now it's a good idea anytime you're drilling on a drill press, anything I would say over 3 16 inch, you need to clamp it down. You definitely don't want it to catch and jerk it out of your hand. Could definitely be bad news. So you can do it on everything. My rule is anything over 3 16 But don't quote me on that. Clamp everything. So what we've done is the little plates we just made, we bolted to the frame rail so that we can start fabricating from here to the center trans mount. So for the making the templates, we used a large paint paddle from the old slows. And we've made a simple template that goes from our plates that bolt to the frame rail to the plate that bolts to the transmission. So now all we need to do is figure the angle and cut them out on the old bandsaw. back in once it's all built and put some hoops in to kind of clearance for the exhaust.
guys, make sure you turn your snap-on ratchets off before you leave the shop at the end of the night. You wouldn't want to run your battery dead. crudely fabricated transmission cross member. Now that it's out, we're gonna go on a weld it solid and being mindful that it doesn't warp on your welding. So whenever we weld a good weld, we're gonna kind of poke it back underneath there and make sure it fits. come in here cut a thin piece of tubing to plate it all up cut off the access grind it clean it powder coat it roll on inch and a half tubing inch and a half tape and what we're gonna do is put these on here and mark it so that we have our angles to cut the filler piece to plate it all in and because I have greasy fingers who needs a pencil Install it went pretty easy. Even a child can do it. Daddy, I can't do <laughs> it. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got a girl, push it. What do you think? Is Zoe approved? Good. Good. Oh, I got you a high five, high five. Right there, slap hands. Now, what we did for the shifter was we took the factory shift linkage and remote shifter mount. So this is a 2007 Creative Steel CTSV short throw shifter that I definitely wanted to utilize because if you buy the retro remote fit, they're, they're quite pricey. So I fabricated my own. We took the bushings from the factory linkage and the plate where the shifter mounted. And from there, we realized that we were gonna shorten it four inches, and then we shortened the shift linkage itself four inches, and then we made it where it's center mount. Now, it's crude, but we'll grind it, clean it, paint it, and it'll look wonderful. Now since we use the stock bushings, we're allowed to install it with the stock pins. Custom built shifter. Now we had to cut a little bit more out of the tunnel 
than we were expecting. We're just gonna take the whole factory four speed hump out. Made this flange here. What we're gonna do is sheet metal it all in using this flange. Now I made this flange so big so that anytime we need to get down to the shifter, we'll simply remove the carpet and console and unbolt the flange and that gives you full access to the shifter. Just a, a, a convenience thing. There you have it guys, we fabricated our own trans mount and shifter. Next step, we're gonna pull the engine back out and drop the subframe so we can send it off to have the powder coated. And we're going along for the ride, so stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe.